Okay, Tiffany, this one's for you. I know you don't have a lot of time. I know that you have kids running around and I know this is a big problem. And this is what I do full time, usually one-on-one. -on -one. So bear with me. I'm gonna try to not even take time to edit this for you because the reason I love this tool is it's for trauma for anxiety, helps to create new healthy neuropathways in your brain, pulls trauma out of trauma files, places them in safety files. There's this whole thing about how it works. You can look that up. But what I'm gonna try to do here is meet you exactly where you're at. But I want you to remember to hit pause when you're feeling something heavy. This technique works best when you're actually highly triggered, highly charged, highly stressed. So it's gonna be a great tool for you to have on the airplane, but let's just start here and see where we can get. Another thing too, because it works with stress and also helps you uh, respond more neutral to irritations, you can just pop your earbuds in, let your kids climb all over you, let them tap along with you. It's okay if you have noise, you don't have to find a quiet place to do this, even though that would be ideal for you. Um, you can just do this while you're going about your day. Anything's better than nothing, but remember the number one rule, if you're feeling a high charge, normally I'm with girls one-on-one -on -one and they can say, hey, I'm at an eight out of 10 here and I'm gonna sit with them and I'm gonna sit on that feeling, that feeling, that feeling. So for you, I'm gonna use this feeling, okay? And you just hit pause and I want you to just stay in that feeling as long as you need to until you take a nice deep breath in through your nose. It'll kind of happen naturally. You're gonna feel some sort of shift. You're not gonna really know why or what. And then I want you to try to grab back onto that high emotion that you were feeling so heavily and as this works to resolve the problem, it's gonna be harder for you to hold on to that emotion and find it. Okay, so I'm really excited for you because you are changing the world one laugh at a time and I really need you here for my own mental health when I'm scrolling, I really look forward to seeing your posts and I make my husband watch every one of them. And so I just want to give back to you right now and give you some relief because you deserve to feel totally calm, totally collected, totally present, even on this airplane on your way to do a comedy show. So go ahead, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, blow it out through your mouth and tap right here and if you have to pause the video but you don't remember the tapping points stay on whatever tapping point you're on that's not going to matter as much as you just feeling a feeling so i would like you to say this out loud if you can otherwise just listen along um take a nice deep breath in through your nose again and what i want you to do is i want you to imagine you have a comedy show and you're approaching the airplane okay it's always good to start from a neutral place so i'd like you to just here i am going to this comedy show and i have to get on the airplane and you probably have this actually coming up so it should be easy to imagine and what i want you to do is notice zero to ten zero being no anxiety in your body which i know probably never happens because we're anxious people right but zero being no anxiety in your body ten being the most anxious or panicked you could ever be and what i want you to do is i know you get to like a 10 out of 10 or like a 20 out of 10 on the airplane but when you're actually imagining this your body does not know if you're getting on that airplane or if you're remembering getting on the airplane or if you're thinking about getting on the airplane our subconscious really locks us up so what we're doing with this tapping is we're keeping the blood in your brain and we're quieting your fight or flight response and instead of it saying tiffany is not safe we need to get her to run or hide what we're doing is we're telling your subconscious, even though normally when I get on airplanes, I don't feel safe right now, I don't need to run or hide. So repeat after me, even though I'm approaching this airplane for this comedy show, really excited about it. Right here in my body, I feel this anxiety already coming up, but in my home, I'm safe. Okay. And go ahead and listen along if it's easier, even though I'm thinking about this next comedy show that I have coming up, just thinking about it causes me anxiety because I know when I get on that plane, I will be hijacked with fear. But right now, right here, I am safe. Take another deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. I want you to check in with your anxiety right now, zero to 10. Let's just say it's at a six, just thinking about it. I don't know, but your body knows, okay? This anxiety in my body, just thinking about all of those times I was on an airplane, totally afraid for my life, 
and right now I'm thinking about it again, but this time I am safe, okay? Take another deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. Now, this might be a point where you can pause and just kind of tap right here on the inside of your eyebrow for a little bit while you just feel any anxiety. If you're kind of a, like at an eight, nine, or 10, um, go ahead and just pause, stay in the thought that you're on, and just tap right here until that number drops a little bit. Tap outside your eye, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, blow it out, and I'd like you to imagine getting on the airplane. Notice if that anxiety spikes, I'm assuming it would, and just tap along with me. Here I am getting on the airplane, getting on this airplane. Here I am again. I am so excited about this comedy show. I've come so far in my life. I've worked so hard for this. I've overcome so many hurdles for this. But here I am just anxious and scared. All right, right here. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. Thinking about getting on this airplane. Okay, pause if you have to. Sometimes when these high spikes come, just thinking about this, I might sit with a girl and tap on that feeling for 90 seconds or, or you know, more. So give yourself time to just really feel these feelings. Okay. We're not reinforcing it. We're not manifesting it. Um, we're actually unwiring it. There's a reason for that. Sometimes talking about things, even to a therapist, and I do love a handful of therapists, um, our brain doesn't know if it's happening right now or if we're just talking about it. And so it can cause our body to go into the same panic as if it's actually happening. That can cause trauma to be rewired. Unfortunately, when we're tapping, we're actually sending a calming response to our fight or flight through our energy meridian um, pathways that says, hey brain, you can take a break. You don't need to help me run or hide right now. I'm actually just gonna sit in this feeling and feel it and we're gonna do something different with it. And what we're doing is yes, we're feeling it and yes, we're getting your, um, your feelings up, but we're also breaking them. I want you to imagine them just pulsing through your veins, pulsing through your veins. You can feel it. We all can with anxiety. Anxiety is the number one thing I work on with women and we get rid of it all the time. And so I want you to imagine while you're tapping these points is you're breaking it up, breaking this fear up, breaking this fear up. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, blow it out. And I'm going to take you where I think I want to take you to get the most out of your time. I would like you to imagine being in your seat, buckled up, and we're about to take off or we are taking off, okay? And really notice how that anxiety pops up in your body right now, okay? I'm gonna assume you're at a 10 out of 10. You're at whatever you're at. Here I am taking off. I hear the engine starting and I feel really panicked really panicked right now during takeoff. Here I am taking off again, even though I've come so far and I really want to go where I'm going. I really want to do this comedy show. I've come so far. This is my life, my joy, my passion, my heart. But here I am crying during takeoff, crying during takeoff. And I want you to sit here with this, pause if you have to. Don't forget to breathe. I don't know how long this video will be. Let's say it ends up being 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You could literally turn this into a 90 minute tapping session for yourself and likely resolve its entire problem. You won't know until you get on that plane and do this again. But as you try to imagine these things, um, if you're at like an eight or 10 right now out of a 10 and we keep moving through this and you really stick with this, you might go, well, you know what? I'm imagining being on an airplane, but for some reason, I just don't feel that anxiety in my body anymore at an eight or a 10. So that's your indication that when you do actually get on that airplane, you're going to feel significantly better if this doesn't just fall all the way off you. It falls off people all the time. Time. Um, it seems like the fears and the phobias that people have that they've had for so long that just um, never get resolved that those things are actually the ones that get resolved the most and I have a lot of reasons why that happens but again the higher the spike the bigger the problem the easier it is to resolve with this tool so we're really just grabbing that feeling and just breaking it up allowing the blood into your brain to think so go ahead take another deep breath in through your nose blow it out
right here. I want you to imagine being on the airplane, taking off, and I want you to notice that anxiety in your body again. Just check on it. If you're still at an eight, maybe pause me and stay here for a while because I'm gonna jump into something even heavier for you um, next because I think you're worth it and I think you've been through really, really, really hard shit and I think that you can handle going deep really fast with this. Um, unlike, you know, other people, maybe I don't know what they've come through. Um, you're just going to keep doing this, keep breathing, keep tapping, and you're going to get through it. Okay. Cause you're made for hard things. You're just going to get through this hard feeling. You already have these high, high, heavy spikes when you're on an airplane. You might as well sit here in your own home, feel it and resolve it. Okay. Totally going to resolve this. So, um, pause if you need to. Here's our next thing we're going into, it's big. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, blow it off, what I'm looking at is your notes, and the reason the screen changed is because my storage was full on my phone. Um, because I am not one of those people who's fully organized with storage, and so we just had to switch gears here. Um, so um, I want you to think of every bump, okay? Every bump, every bump, okay? And you said you're spending your entire ride picturing your <laughs> death very graphically. I would like you to go ahead, if it feels safe to, if your number has dropped, okay? I would like you to now picture that very graphic death, okay? And I need you to keep breathing through your nose and I need you to keep tapping, okay? I don't want you to walk away. This isn't where you walk away. This is where you get your biggest work done, all right? So I want you to picture that very graphic death death. Now I'm going to speak to anybody who did want to follow along with this and listen. Um, this tapping video can be for you. Um, if you have a different scenario, all you do is think of your scenario. That's it. You just use the tapping points, use me as a reminder to breathe, um, and change the words. Okay. So if I say anxiety, you can think fear. If I say panic, you can think sadness. It doesn't really matter as long as your body knows exactly what you're feeling. Okay. Tiffany, come back to me, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, blow it out. And I want you to think that very graphic death, very graphic death. Here I am. I'm thinking about it, but this time I'm safe to think about it. Okay. I want you to declare that I am safe right here in this place. Uh, with this protection, with this love around me, with some random chick in who knows where, I'm in California, um, doing this weird tapping thing that I've like, don't even know what it is. And if it worked, then I would hear about it or whatever. Okay. But like now I'm hearing about it. So I want you to breathe and I want you to think of this graphic death, graphic death, graphic death. Okay. I've tried so many things. I've tried so many things. I am going to therapy and nothing's working. So right here, right now, I'm doing this weird tapping thing because I am desperate for something to work. The truth is, this would be a great time to just have drugs. I love to do drugs right now. Wow, that would be so helpful. But as we all know, I don't do that anymore. So here I am wishing I could just go do that thing again just to cover up all of my fears and sadness and anxiety. But no, I had to overcome that part of my life. I had to overcome addiction. I had to do all of that hard work. Yet here I am with this panic and anxiety. So since drugs aren't an option, I guess I'm going to tap on my face and freaking breathe about it. Okay. So all that, it's always our real feelings. It's always our real feelings. Um, so take another deep breath, blow it out. I also know it's really, really hard to be serious. I know you said this isn't funny guys. Okay. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. This is scary. If you're on an airplane and you're afraid of dying the whole time, that's not funny. That's scary. That's your joy and your life being robbed as if you're dying when you're not. And I'll tell you what, I was literally afraid of the dark and afraid of taking a shower without opening the curtain 25 times clear until I was 32 years old. Okay. Any adult doesn't want to admit that, but doing the work that I do, I find out that like 60% of people are afraid of the dark or afraid of a monster under the bed still. Why? Because it got wired when we were younger. And you know what? The very first experience I ever had with any of this weird stuff, that's what I worked on. It took four minutes and I've never been afraid of the dark again. And I've been able to take showers without looking outside of the curtain. I quit my job and I immediately got trained and certified in this so that I could help anxious women to resolve fears that seemed really irrational, but aren't. So don't worry. You're not alone. This is normal. This is normal. 
this is normal. And if there's a place to comment here, I would encourage women to go ahead and say like, yes, I feel the same way on an airplane whenever I fly. Um, the thing that tapping is amazing for is I know I'm safe. I know I'm probably not going to die on this airplane, but my feelings are telling me otherwise. So in life, it's always about what we know. You know, people are like, yeah, but you know that you're going to be fine. You know that the statistics of flying and dying when you're flying is significantly less than when you're driving your car. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, it doesn't matter what we know. It doesn't matter what we know. Our feelings are facts. And so with tapping, we get to say what we feel, no matter how crazy, no matter how extreme it is, we're just going to say what we feel. And in giving that feeling an actual voice, we are physically and physiologically moving up energy of that feeling and out of our body. It's amazing. It's so freeing. Tap right here. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. I want you to go back in and imagine that graphic death. If you we're at a 10 out of 10 the first time you thought about it. I really want you to check in now with what you're at because if it dropped, that's good. That means that we're really clearing some of this out. But if it went up, I need you to go into that memory and find the most graphic detail of that graphic death. Okay, I need you to dig in there. I need you in to investigate and I need you to find the most graphic detail. Okay, and I need you to feel that in your body because we want to break it up and get rid of it. Okay, because we need you fully energized at these comedy shows because you need to enjoy it as much as we do. So tap right here, take a nice deep breath, and I need you to zoom in on this most graphic detail. This is a great place to pause me and stay on this graphic detail as long as you have to. And then I'm gonna be here with a new move when you come back. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing, keep tapping. I want you to go back to um, driving to the airport. Okay, I want you to drive to the airport. I want you to get dropped off at the airport. I want you to notice if that feels any better. I want you to think about approaching the airplane. Remember what your number was in the beginning when we did this. Think about approaching that airplane, see if it feels any better. And then I want you to buckle back into that airplane. I want you to, sorry, buckle into that seat and I want you to hear those jets starting up. And this is where you're gonna really get some practice on noticing what has shifted, okay? If you feel more calm, if you still have a spike, that's okay. Your spikes and your high charge and high anxiety are your indication of what we need to clear out, okay? Right here, take a nice deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. You can, I'm gonna to start to leave you on your own here, you can start to replay this over and over and over that that go, approaching the airport, going in, sitting down, buckling up, taking off, crying the whole time, thinking about this graphic death, and you can keep moving through this like a video until you notice that at some point, instead of being charged at like a seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, okay, you're actually feeling like maybe like a four or five or six, or maybe a two, three, four. Okay, this is amazing. I want you to just stick to it because we can get you down to a zero or a one to where you get to the point where you say, you know what, um, the reality is probably nothing's gonna happen to me and I'm okay. Not only that, we don't wanna just bring you to a neutral place where you're kind of desensitized and neutral. I would love to see you feel really, really excited to get on that airplane. And I'm here to tell you it's possible. I do this all the time with people. We move out the biggest fears in your body because it works so hard for you and because you are giving it love and time and attention and acceptance right now for how hard it works for you. It's going to shift. You're like a sponge full of dirty water and we're wringing it out. It's heavy and it's hard and it's dirty, but we're wringing it out. And when we're done wringing it out, we don't wanna just leave you wrung out of the ugly feelings. We want you to soak up everything that's good. So that means every time you see your kids before you get on that plane, every time you hug your husband before getting on that plane, um, every single time you prepare for the comedy show, not only um, are you preparing, but you're actually fulfilled and you're excited. And when you get on that plane, my hope for you is that you go, <sighs> I have a couple hours of forced, relaxed time. I can't do dishes, I can't do laundry, I can't mess with the kids. All I have to do here is just trust, 
and relax. And when you get to that comedy show, I bet you, you're gonna feel better than ever. You're gonna feel more relaxed. Your body is not gonna feel like it ran from a lion all day long. It's actually going to feel refreshed, prepared, and excited, and you deserve that. So I have one more thing for you if you wanna try it. Anybody listening, this is one of my favorite tools with tapping, but you need to make sure you have time for do this to do this because it's a heavy one, okay? And I'm not gonna go in as deep as I can. I want you to trust yourself with your own work. You're taking responsibility for your work and you're being an active participant. If, Tiffany, you are still stuck on this graphic, graphic death, okay? I need you to think of the worst case scenario. For everyone, it's different. Most people come to a point where they're like, well, I'm dead and my kids don't have a mom, fine. I'm sorry, but we've got to tap on this because just that fear and that feeling in your body is as real as if it were happening. So let's all come here if you want to go one step further, okay? Even though my real biggest fear is that I will die and my husband and kids won't have me anymore, I actually really accept the part of me that is admitting I have value in this home. So even though when I'm on this airplane, and I'm panicking for my life, and the worst thing that could happen is I'm not here anymore. I accept this part of me and this heart that I have and everything right with me that says, I'm needed here, I'm valued here, I'm the only mom they have, I'm the only wife he has, so I guess I think I'm valuable, okay? Inside your eyebrow, my biggest fear is that I won't be here because I'm so valuable. Life is so hard and so busy and waking up every day is a full dose of guilt because I can't be everything to everyone. And I really don't get to do all the cool shit I always wanna do. But I guess I'm really just afraid of dying because I have to admit, I have purpose here. I have life here, I have family here, and I just think they need me. Take a deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. You girls can come back to this as often as you need to, this worst case scenario. If worst case scenario is not death for you anymore, because most people say, you know what, the worst thing is I'm dead, I'm, I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm fine, my family's not, maybe worst case scenario is pain, not wanting to suffer pain, okay? And so you can sit in that. My biggest fear is that I'll suffer pain. I really want you to imagine that pain you would suffer, okay? And if you wanna take it a step deeper, think back through life when you have experienced pain. Think back um, to times that you watched somebody else experience excruciating pain. Those things get held up in our body. And your body now, after you've been tapping for a while, your cortisol has dropped. That's your primary stress hormone. So instead of thinking of these things from a place of stress and panic without the blood in your brain, now you're thinking of these things from a place of clarity with all the blood in your brain. Um, your blood distributed evenly. You don't have to run or hide. And you know what happens from this point? Clarity, peace patience, balance, curiosity. So if your numbers are still high as you move through that video, I want you to be curious about what else in your life in the past has felt similar, okay? Girls who are afraid of flying um, maybe got trapped in a closet when they were little, maybe got stuck under a bed when they were little, um, maybe fell from heights when they were little. So don't dismiss anything that pops up during your work as unimportant because anything that comes up is now safe to come up where your subconscious has actually been pressing it down and protecting you. Now you're subconscious because you've told it you're safe. It's actually releasing information to you and all of the information it's releasing is different puzzle pieces. Okay, so I want you to be excited about this work. I want you to be curious about this work. And I want you to say, you know what, what is this really about being afraid on this airplane? Okay, and listen to your body as it gives you information on other experiences in your life. It doesn't have to be because you were on an airplane and crashed and died. That's not realistic, right? That, that hasn't happened. But what we're dealing with is a feeling in your body. So just be curious. This feeling of panic and crying and thinking of my death and this worst case scenario, when was another time in my life that I felt this fearful, this scared, this panicked, this sad, okay, this full of tears and afraid of crashing, okay? It could have been your biggest low with drugs, right? It could have been your biggest low, could have felt exactly like this. It could have been a car accident you girls were in. It could be anything in your life that just 
felt similar in your body. And if you were four or five or six years old and you look back on it and say, well, it wasn't really that big of a deal. All kids crash on their bike when they're learning. As an adult, we look back and we say that. As a little kid, if we're so excited to ride our bike, okay, without training wheels, and we don't need anyone's help anymore, we're so excited to go somewhere on this bike, but we crash and we skin a knee, that is the same exact feeling in that little tiny body as being on an airplane afraid of death is, because that little girl just experienced something really big and really scary she's never experienced before and when our body feels a really heavy charge something that's scary that we're afraid we're afraid of that is a new emotion we've never felt it is an energy it's a frequency and it gets held up in your body so from there on out your brain is just trying to protect you from a bike maybe you never got on a bike again okay i have so much to say about this but i really want you to just be curious about what pops up and if you hear yourself say that didn't matter that wasn't a big deal. It's already been resolved. I can almost guarantee you that is exactly the event that you need to go back to. You need to be curious about, you need to remember it, and you need to talk through it as if you were that little girl again talking about how scared you were, okay? I really hope this helped when you're at a lower number. Um, you might notice a lot of positive stuff coming in, a lot of truths, and a lot of excitement. If that's hard for you to grab onto, you just might have some more stuff to tap through. Um, otherwise, I want you to think of all those nerdy, positive affirmations, all those stupid cliches, okay? All the like, live, laugh, love, just pray about it, uh, peace, joy, kindness, all these stupid cliches that were like, if one more person says it, because those things actually might just start to feel more true. And remember, we wrung out your sponge and we really want to soak up everything good around us. So make sure you you know, listen to a good podcast, listen to some music that you love, hug your children, hug somebody that you love. Like I want you to just pretend you're a sponge and you're going to be excited to see how you can fill the space because with that fear of flying or fear of whatever was holding up like, you know, 60% residency in your body all the time, even if you weren't thinking about it, you have 60% of your energetic space in your mind, body, and in your heart to do something else with. And that's really, really good news when we feel like we don't have more to give. Thank you so much for your time here. Please let me know if this helped. More important, let me know if you got stuck and you need a little bit of tips and guidance to get you through some of those bumps and hurdles. Because the first time you do this, it will help, but you might not exactly know what to do with a certain emotion that pops up as the emotions come, you're just going to stay curious, tap, breathe, it'll shift.